Shantou to the near side. It's a bobbing finish. 25 yards to go. Shantou lands the legend. Magician has got it tied up. And inside the final furlong, he's going to make it five out of five. And a fifth St. Ledger for John Coulson. Gregory, last seen finishing third in the um, Great Vulture Estates at York. What did you make of that, of that performance? Well, he went a little quick early. When I saw the early fraction, so I thought, oh, 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 we've just gone inside 12 seconds for a furlong. I think there were three of them trying to make the lead in order to boss the race, and they got all got in a bit of a scramble together early on. So I think you, you're not going to do those fractions over the first three and, and, and finish. Uh, it was obvious where the winner came from, 20 lengths out the back. So to that extent, look, he actually ran a very good race. Uh, and when Frankie accepted the fact, put his hands down, he galloped out well to the line and after the line. So I was probably very impressed from a point of view as, as, a, as a hard piece, a strong bit of work than as a race. He came out of it in very good order. If the weather is set fair, that won't bother him with being top of the ground. So, you know, I'd be very happy with them with him after the race. Uh, Matt, how's he come out of the race and what's his preparation looked like since, since your... Well, I think, you know, you had a strong race in the Voltager. I, I, I've had luck going from the Voltager to the Ledger, but often I feel it's quite close if they get a hard race. Uh, and, and I've had a couple bounce. That can happen. But I, I'd be very pleased with him at this stage. He he's, seems in great order and very content in himself. He's got a great mind. He's a pretty laid-back character. I trade the, both the mother and the father, and he's inherited all their, all their good traits of their mental attitude towards racing. Um, and he was on race as a, as a two-year-old, um, and then just sort of four starts today. Is he always showing, showing you great potential? Look, he was just a, a big boy. He's a very tall horse, and uh, he just needed to fill his frame out. And to that extent, we gave him all the time he required, and he's done nothing but shine this year. And I think he'll enjoy the distance, and we're perfectly aware it's, uh, it looks like being a very, very good vintage uh, St. Ledger. Um, and Frankie, um, he, was on your, he was on board your first Ledger winner, and he was also on board your most recent um, Ledger winner with Logician. Just, just how special would it be for him to sort of bow in his last well, I think, classic? Well, I think the great world tour is going exceptionally well. He he's rolls into Deauville for one ride and wins the Jacques Marois. He, you know, he's had some wins the Judmont International at York, so and, and Ascot Gold Cups and 2,000 Guineas, and he won the Dubai Turf for us way back in Easter. So I think the the World Tour is going extremely well, and I'm sure he'd he'd love to cap it off at uh, Doncaster in the in the final classic. Um, Arrest came back after a bit of a break post Royal Ascot at Newbury, and what was was very impressive. Is, is yeah, plan? we're very pleased with him. Uh, he took his race very well. He's in top order. But I think he'll, you know, if that's good to firm at Doncaster, I think you find him probably heading to Paris for the Chardonnay, a race like that, rather than be trying to run him. He's a, he's a lovely horse, but he rolls his knee. And to that extent, he'll, he'll enjoy more of what I call the autumn ground. And Middle Earth, is the plan still to, to supplement? Middle Earth at this stage to, uh, ran a really lovely race in the, the Murrows, and I'm really happy with him. And uh, he's, he's a very strong likelihood, all being well, obviously, your bloods, your scopes and all of that, uh, to be supplemented. And what did he show you in, in the Melrose at York last time out that made you think that the, the ledger would be the race, the race for him? Well, I think Oshin was very impressed with him. What's that term? He hit the line strongly and all of that. But he came from a long way back and finished it off well. And he's, he's been a horse we've always liked, but, you know, we've had a few niggles along the way and haven't been able to quite have a smooth run with him. But we're very much uh, had that up to that race. And if he's in great form, obviously, uh, Cutter Racing have won the race before. And, uh, and I think they're game to, to go. It's the, it's the last classic of the year. It's, it's three year olds over a trip. He's proven he stays the trip, which, let me tell you, the one mile six and the, the yards, it's, it's, it's a long straight. It tests, it tests the tactical speed and the stamina. So he looks like he should be able to answer those. Two, two calls. Um, and Arctic Cosmos and um, Logician both went from handicaps into sort of Group 1 company. Just how big an ask is it for, for them to sort of step up into handicaps? Into well, I think if you run a handicap, won a handicap in the style he did at York, it's, it's not so... I mean, that's, that was probably a tougher race than some of the trials can be. So, you know, if you've got the right horse at the right time and he, and he handles the ground, then he, he has every right to be there.
And then finally, Lions Pride also has an entry. Uh, beat Middle Earth earlier this this, this season. He this did. Um, he he ran the other day at uh, at Windsor, and it was a little bit of a trappy race and a difficult track. And they they went slow, and he pulled, and then he came on the outside. So it was against older horses, and he's learnt a lot from that. Um, Frankie sat out on him yesterday. He was happy with him. I think he's a a likelihood that he'll look at the race as well. I mean, after all, there is only one St. Ledger. His sire was the last horse off the bridle uh, in Massa's Derby, but he didn't get the mile and a half. This boy, of course, is out of a, a good source of stamina on the dam side, so we will have a strong look at it, and I'll discuss it with his owner breeder, Mr. Oppenheimer, and we'll, we'll, we will come to a conclusion.